So I'm going to do example two that I did in class. Um, this is also going to involve the FOIL method. So number one of the FOIL method, we have to take out the um, largest common factor. Okay. When we look at the numbers, okay, so we have A is 6 and then negative 19 is B and then C is 10. When we look at the numbers, nothing could be factored out. There's no um, numbers that are um, you can... Um, divide any of these numbers by and I mean evenly by. But we have an x here, an x here, and an x here. So let's go ahead and factor out an x. If you don't understand what that means to factor something out, okay, so we have 6x cubed minus 19x squared plus 10x. What we're actually doing is we're dividing everything by x in order to pull it out. Okay, so we have 6 x squared minus 19x plus 10 equals 0. Now we can handle this trinomial in here and we can go ahead and make them into two binomials multiplied by each other. Okay, so let's look at the signs. Okay, we have a positive and a negative. Now we get this value here, the c, by multiplying two factors. And then we get the b by adding the two, the same two factors. So when we multiply two numbers and get positive, we can either have a positive and a positive or a negative and a mo negative. Now when we multiply a positive and a positive, we get a positive. When we multiply a negative and a negative, we also get positive. But when we add these two, we get a positive here, and when we get it, when we add the two negatives, we get a negative. And B is negative, so this one does not work. Okay, so I have two negatives. Okay, and I have the funny little face here. <laughs> okay, anyways. Now let's look at 6x squared. Let's look at 6x squared. Let's go ahead and split that x. Okay, I have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to fit things in, so I'm going to rewrite that. So I have x, and then uh, x minus, and then I have x minus equals 0. There we go. Now, let's look at 6. Let's look at the factors of 6. We have 1 and 6, and then we have 2 and 3. Now, let's look at c. Let's look at the factors of C. We have 1 and 10, and we have 2 and 5. Okay, so I'm going to first start out with 1 and 6. I'm going to put a 6 here, and I'm going to put a 1 here. Now, I'm going to do 1 and 10. Like I said in class, should I put a 10 here? Because what am I going to do with the outer? I'm going to end up multiplying 6 and 10. I don't want negative 60. It's too large. Because when I do the O and the I, it's going to end up equaling negative 19x, which is B. Now, negative 19x is relatively a small number. 6 times negative 10 is 60. That's too big. I don't want to put any large numbers right here. Okay? Because you have to eventually multiply it by 6. So, um, let's put 1 here. No, no, no. Let's put 10 here. And let's put one here. Actually, I'm going to do those in different colors. Okay, let's put 10 here and let's put one here. And then let's try it out. So we have negative 10x and here we have negative 6x. That's negative 16x. That does not equal this. Hmm? Doesn't work. So we've done this. Let's go ahead and try 2 and 5. So x and then 6x minus 2 and x minus 5. So we have negative 2x and then negative 30x. Once again, too big. Not going to work. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try um, the... Wait a sec. Oh, by the way, 
We've tried both of these with 1 and 6. So we know that, oh no we didn't. Let me go ahead and look. So we have x minus, let's try 5 here and let's try 2 here. So that's negative 5x and then we have negative 12x and so then we have negative 17x. This is what happens when you erase it. You forget what you did. Okay, so I tried the other one on both of these and I know that 1 and 6 does not work. Okay, so let's do, I'm going to, I'm going to move to the next page. Okay, so I had x and then x minus and then x minus here and my a was 6 so I tried 1 and 6 already. Now I need to start working on 2 and 3 and then I have 10 here and so I have 1 and 10 and then 2 and 5. So I've done that so I'm going to put a 2 here and then I'm going to put a 3 here. Let's go ahead and try 1 and 10. Now if I put a 10 over here, I'm going to multiply it with negative 20. And remember the original number that we were trying to get to is negative 19. Okay, so negative 19x. That's not going to work. It's too large. So, But if I put a 10 here, I need to multiply it with that 3. It's still too large, so I'm not going to even do this one. Mm -mm. I know it doesn't work. So let's go ahead and do 2 and 5. So over here we have negative 6x. Over here we have negative uh, 10x. Nope, doesn't work. Let's try the other combination. So 2x minus 5 and 3x minus 2. So we have negative 15x and then we have negative 4x. Bingo! Works. Okay, so I know that now I have the correct combination. So x and 2x minus 5 and 3x minus 2 equals 0. So I'm going to go ahead and split all of my x's, including this one right here. So x equals 0, and then 2x minus 5 equals 0. I'm going to add 5 to both sides. So I get 2x equals 5. Okay, go ahead and divide 2 on both sides. So I have x equals 5 divided by 2. Now this one, let's go ahead and write it here. We have 3x minus 2 equals 0. I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So I have 3x equals 2. Let's go ahead and divide everything by 3. So I have x equals 2 thirds. There you go. So I have, my answer is x equals 0, x equals 5 halves, and x equals 2 thirds. And all of them are my uh, right answer. Okay? So it's all of those. Okay, good job.